In this video, we take a look at the origin of the Anunnaki's. Although scholars recognize the Anunnaki's as Mesopotamian gods, Freem stories believe they are ancient aliens and readers from the planet Nibiru. Sumerians worshipped the Anunnaki's before the Greek exalted Zeus or the Egyptians raised Osiris. These Mesopotamian gods had wings, wore horn caps, and had the power to control all of humanities. Sumerians regarded the Anunnaki's as heavenly beings who shaped their society's fate. A carving of the Anunnaki, the ancient Sumerian gods, who were taught to be alien, but were there anything more than deities? Some theorists believe the Anunnaki's were extraterrestrials from another planet. Even more shocking, they used certain Sumerian texts to support this outlandish theory. Here's what we know so far. Why did the Sumerian worship the Anunnaki's? From around 4500 BC to 750 BC, the Sumerians lived in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq and Iran between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. Despite the fact that they were an ancient civilization, their reign was marked by a number of impressive technological advances. For example, the Sumerians invented the plow, which played a significant role in the expansion of their empire. Male and female worshippers are depicted in Sumerian statues around 2800 to 2400 BC. They also created uniforms, one of the earliest known writing systems in human history. They also invented a method of keeping time which is still used today. But according to the Sumerians, they were not allowed to owe their historic achievements to a group of people, of gods, called the Anunnaki's. According to the story, the Anunnaki's were almost descended from Pan, a supreme deity who could control the fates of both human kings and his fellow gods. Although, what remains unknown about the Sumerians and their way of life, ancient texts such as the Epic of Glimish, one of the oldest written stories in human history, contain evidence of their belief. And one thing is certain, the Anunnaki gods were highly regarded. Ancient Sumerian would create statues of these deities, dress them in clothing, feed them and transport them to ceremonies to worship them. Some scholars would speculate millennials later on, what made these Anunnaki so unique? and why they were held in such high regard. But it wasn't until the 20th century that the ancient alien theory gained traction. Why some believe the Anunnaki's were ancient aliens from ancient Sumer, a Sumerian cylinder which some theorists believe was linked by ancient aliens who visited Earth. Much of what we know about the Sumerian civilization is based on clues in thousands of clay tablets. These tablets are still being studied today. However, one also claimed that some of the texts contained a startling revelation. The Anunnaki's were actually aliens. In 1976, a scholar named Zachariah Sitin published The Twelve Planets, which included translations of 14 tablets related to Enik, a son of the Sumerian supreme deity. And according to this book, the Sumerian believed that the Anunnaki's came from a distant planet called Nibiru. Nibiru, according to Sitchin, has a 3,600 year long orbit. This planet has close to Earth at one point, and its inhabitants, the Anunnaki's, decided to contact our world around 500,000 years ago. But the Anunnaki's were looking for more than just a friendly exchange. They desired gold, which was desperately needed to repair the atmosphere of their planet. Because the Anunnaki's were unable to mine gold for themselves, they decided to genetically engineer primitive humans to do so. The Anunnaki god Enik The ancient Sumerian god Enik is depicted in the center. This may appear to be an out-of-this-world claim, but Sitchin, who spent decades studying ancient Hebrew, Akkadian, and Sumerian before passing away in 2010 at the age of 90, once stated that the skeptics didn't have to take his word for it. I'm not making this up, it's in the text, Sitchin told the New York Times. The aliens wanted to breed primitive workers from the Homo erectus and give him the genes to think and use tools. And if these theories were correct on all accounts, this would imply that the Anunnaki's were not deities created by humans to explain life, but rather aliens who landed on Earth to create life. According to their story, humans were created to serve alien monsters who required the Earth's goal to sustain their civilization, and as terrifying as that sound, Millions of people appear to be willing to entertain this theory. 
If only for fun, the ancient learning theory is under the fire. Anunnaki stars use. Anunnaki figures wearing traditional headpieces are depicted in ancient figurines. Most mainstream academics and historians oppose Sitchin's and his colleagues' ideas. He frequently claimed that these theorists have mistranslated or misinterpreted ancient Sumerian texts, although some skeptics acknowledge that ancient Sumerian texts contain some unusual sounding beliefs. They believe this is primarily due to the fact that they lived in a time before people had a sophisticated understanding of things like food, astronomy, animals, and other aspects of life. Meanwhile, authors like Sitchin took the Sumerian text literally and despite the backlash, they were confident in their translation. Tablets made for clay in the British Museum uniform was described on clay tablets. One thing, however, cannot be denied. The people of the Sumerian were ahead of their time. A 2015 translation of a clay tablet reveals that ancient astronomers made extremely accurate mathematical calculations for Jupiter's orbit 40,000 years before Europeans. And furthermore, the Babylonians who succeeded in the Sumerian time may have invented trigonometry a thousand years before the Greeks. Although Sumerian civilization perished thousands of years ago, it is possible that it has planted the seed for humanity to grow and thrive. But did they receive assistance from an extraterrestrial civilization? Could ancient Sumerians have been visited by aliens who taught them advanced math and science? Yes, according to ancient alien theorists, they would point to translations like Sitchin's. Sumerian peoples had advanced abilities, and the fact that some ancient Sumerian texts have appeared to allude to flying machines, although this could be a mistranslation, for the time being, there is no conclusive evidence that Sitchin's theory are correct. No one knows for certain whether or not some of these ideas were correct. Scholars still have a lot to learn about the Sumerian at this point. Many of their ancient clay texts are still being translated, and other texts have been yet to be discovered. Perhaps most challenging, we must acknowledge that humans today cannot even agree on whether aliens exist in our time, so it is unlikely that we will ever be able to agree on the existence of ancient aliens. Only time will tell if we ever find out the true answer. The next video talks about the punishment of the fallen angel. Watch the video now. Thank you.